off. Kemazan missed it a half length, and one of the first out is Bro Rower. Classic Prince began well. Further out, Arnie Kalani and also Pia Monopolon. Flying Voodoo Wider on the track is nice and prominent. Well, over the first is the second flight coming up. Baroa going quickly out in the centre as Piemont with it. It jumped it a little awkwardly on the inside, Kemazan. Classic Prince back fourth early from Flying Voodoo Sovereign Tires, Ani Canali. Brush with fame is caught wide but travelling forward. Further back a pole on and two to silver medal. Here's the next flight on the first round in the back straight, the third. And the leader here is Baroa, two and a half to Piemont. And Brush with fame's gone up third, fourth is Kemazan. Over that, the leader took off early but got away with a Baroa. A length and a half in front of Piemont, two and a half for the back. Brush with fame and a half to Camazan. Two for the back, Classic Prince, three quarters of pole on. They're followed by flying voodoo outside Sovereign Ties. Two to Arnie Canali, one silver medal. Coming down the side with about 2,500 metres to go. And the leader, Brorowa, facing a double on the school side of the track. Let out with a good break of that two and a half in front. Piermont got right into that one, the fave. Piermont clipped the top of that. He didn't lose a great deal of ground. And Brorowa about three quarters to a length in front. Piermont's gone back to the fence. He jumped that better. Two and a half further back, brush with fame from a pole on Camazan. Three quarters back in the middle, running sixth is Classic Prince. A length and a half sovereign ties from Flying Voodoo. Silver medal and last of all is Arnie Canali. 2,000 out around the top turn. And there's one flight coming down here in front of the stands, down at about the 150 metre mark. And the leader still is Broroa. Broroa two and a half in front of Piermont as they come to this flight now. Broroa comes to it, shifted out a little. Over two in front, about a length and a half in front now from Piermont. Two to Camazan, brush with fame, Apollo on three out. Two and a half, Classic Prince, who's running sixth, about five off the lead with a lap to go. Two behind at Sovereign Ties from Flying Voodoo, Silver Medal and Arnie Canali. 1,700 to go, back from where they've started and the leader still trying to shift off and Piermont uh, got onto the heels of Bro Rower. It's uh, Bro Rower a length and a half, Piermont trying to come out now out to the middle. He got out there now, outside him Camazan and Classic Prince saves ground. Gets up on the inside of Brush with fame, two then Apollon. Flying Voodoo further out from Silver Medal as they hop over that one. Apollo on down. Apollo on crashed heavily. And last of all is Arnie Canali, second of the double. Piermont going up to tackle Broroa. Broroa landed about a half. Piermont is under a fair hold. A length and a half for the back brush with fame outside at Camazan. Classic Prince is right up behind them now. Fifth about three lengths off them. Outside at Flying Voodoo, one Silver Medal, a half sovereign ties for Arnie Canali. Down the back they race at the 900 metre mark. Next flight coming up. Piermont's taken up the running now. He went to the front from Camazan. Three quarters the inside brush with fame. Classic Prince quickly went to fourth. A length further back than Flying Voodoo. Further back in the race dropping out now. Broroa, silver medal, the rail. Three flights out, up the side, 7.50 out. Piermont got off the fence, up on the inside, brush with fame, three quarters Camazan. Right behind them, Classic Prince and Flying Voodoo hooking out wide. Here's the third last coming up, Piermont over it in front. There's a run for Classic Prince. He's about to drive through, Camazan further out, brush with fame, the rail. At the second last, then Flying Voodoo. Classic Prince has gone quickly now to hit the front on the outside, Flying Voodoo with one flight to go. 300 out, through the gap they come, Classic Prince and Flying Voodoo coming at it. Two and a half for the back brush with fame. Flying Voodoo got a neck in front of Classic Prince. One flight to go. Three for the back brush with fame and a gap to Camazan. It's Classic Prince and Flying Voodoo. One to go at the 200. It's Flying Voodoo getting three quarters to a length in front over Classic Prince. Here's the last flight coming up. Flying Voodoo jumped it well. A length and a half. Two in front. Holding Classic Prince and a gap to brush with fame. Flying Voodoo. Too good. At the line wins a length and a quarter. Two Classic Prince. Five away third. Brush with fame. Then Sovereign Ties. Then Camazan, a gap, silver medal, a long gap to Piermont. Further back, just coming in, Broroa and Arnie Canali. Five, Flying Voodoo, 720, 170, one Classic Prince, 150, and three, Brush with Fame, 250. A pile on number 10, having a pretty heavy fall down there at the first of two on the last round at the 1450. Of course, being led back, we'll get a report on the rider, uh, Jason Evans, as soon as it's available. Five, one, three, Flying Voodoo, having his third hurdle off and running, jumped in a beautiful line too. Momentary Madness, Brocco Dancer, Miss Powerbird, all out quickly with Races Bell and further out Queen Kerry. Uh, quit Smoking is pushed through in the middle, just in front, Miss Powerbird's over on its inside. Further back, Queen Kerry third, fourth early Brocco Dancer from Momentary Madness. Further back in the race, Bell Ball, back in the middle, Races Bell, one further back, Marlborough Hill. The inside, Capalure and two last of all on the run. Miss Powerbird on the inside, a quit smoking down at the 700. A length and a half to Queen Carey. To the outside, Bell Ball taking off forward. A length further back in the race, then came Brocco Dancer, followed back in the middle by Races Bell. To Marlborough Hill from on the run, he's picked them up from Moment Madness. And last of all, Kapalua. Miss Powerbird slipped through and got three quarters in front. 
Bell Ball's gone up second, two for the back races, Bell. Dropping out, quit smoking, followed for the back by Brocco Dancer. And Kapalua ran into trouble, but Miss Powerbird up to the turn. Accelerated away and shot two and a half in front now from Bell Ball. Three for the back races, Bell, from Brocco Dancer. And then on the outside, on the run, Miss Powerbird at the 150, though. Full of running. She's home the fave. She's three in front. In second placing, holding it down as Bell Ball. Running on races, Bell, from Marlborough Hill. But Miss Powerbird wins four and a half on the run home. Bell Ball second, two and a half away third. Races Bell from Marlborough Hill back to the inside then. Brocco Dancer, then Kapalua. Further back, momentary madness on the run. Queen Kerry and a long gap to quit smoke and last of all. Brian's best bid in, number one. Miss Powerbird, 240, 140, 11. Bell Ball, 230. And five, Races Bell, 260. Number one, Miss Powerbird shared the lead, got away nearing the home turn from Bell Ball. They ran one, two. Over at Sandown, but a big margin here today with the weight still in favour of Miss Powerbird, and she's cantered home in 112 1. 111 and 5, third races, Bell ahead of Marlborough Hill, number 3. 111 5, 111 5, race 2. Well, she won like a good thing should. Market suggested that she was the only one in the, the betting, really. Kapalua, bit of specking for it, but it uh, got back, had no speed, ran into trouble when Quit Smoking came back into its lap before the turn, but it made no difference as it's bolted in. Miss Powerbird, number one, Vin Caddy. Uh, second, 11, Bell Ball. Took off coming down the side to get into the race, but the, uh, the winner left it standing on the home turn, 300 out, and battling on races Bell just ahead of Marlborough Hill. But she's in a different grade, that, uh, that filly. She's quite an impressive filly. She's won uh, three from four. Only uh, glitch there was when she went to Sydney and had to go the right-handed way. She obviously wasn't happy up there, but uh, that's an easy win. Up to the third, scratchings are 2, 5 and 10. 2, 5, 10 in the Colin Hayes race four, take out number 12. And I think Dean uh, might be with us on the line now and he's... Moving up Elwick. Hey, Dean. Brian, how are you going? Oh, going well, mate. Oh, and, good uh, to hear you. Yeah, most impressive win, that. Was indeed, and I've got the... back there racing classic Ben Barra missed it about a half length and rain gauge and proud symphony uh, dropping out happy empress away quickly quickly race to the front now from Chiaretto up on the outside second keep a third in the early point followed by on the inside rum outside it Buster dream two to classic Ben Barra from rain gauge and last of all proud symphony around that first turn and happy empress went out nearly two lengths in front now from Chiaretto two further back in the race is keep a third on the outside of rum fourth a length and a half, Buster Dream, one classic, Ben Barra, one further back, Rain Gage, Proud Symphony last of all. They've gone to the 1,000 down the back. And the leader here is Happy Empress, just dropping the speed back a little. A length and a half in front of Chiaretto, a length further back than Keeper. On a good rain running third and just getting up a little closer to these leaders. Chiaretto came off the fence and Keeper was now pratted out three deep at the 850. A length further back, Rum up fourth, three quarters further back, Buster Dream. Then classic, Ben Barra, followed by Rain Gage and two to Proud Symphony. Down the side they race and the leader Happy Empress a neck in front of Chiaretto. A half into Keeper on the outside at the 600 metre mark. A length and a half run. Buster Dream outside it. Classic Ben Barra the middle. One rain gauge and two or three hard ridden Proud Symphony. Racing to the 500 metre mark and it's Happy Empress just in front of Chiaretto. Keeper under pressure third and fourth the outside is Buster Dream. Two to a rum hard ridden from Rain Gage and Classic Ben Barra. Keeper three out going up to tackle over on the inside. Happy Empress, he hit the front keeper. Buster Dream the danger on the outside of the 200 metre mark and Keeper drew three quarters in front. Buster Dream after it on the outside. Keeper finds a bit though for Preble. He draws a length and a half in front. Buster Dream having another dip at him but Keeper kept going and Keeper by three quarters Buster Dream. Three away third Happy Empress from Rain Gage. Then Rum further back is Classic Ben Barra, Gap Chiaretto and tailed off as Proud Symphony. One keeper, two seventy, one forty from four, Buster Dream, two dollars and uh, six, Happy Empress, two thirty. Number one, number one keeper. He was caught three deep from the 800 metre mark. He opted to go out there and Buster Dream put him under pressure on the turn. But again, like Sandown, he, uh, he showed plenty of fight. Just as sufficient to get to the line. And he continues on his way, this Dane Hill Colt, to make it a three on the trot now for Lloyd and Susie Williams and trainer Graham Rogerson and Brett Preble. Number four is second, and that's Buster Dream, Steve King. And third is number six, Happy Empress, Peter Mertens, one, four, six, and one, thirty, nine, eight. Coming home in 47, seven, 35, four, 23, seven, and 12.1. More from Brian.
Pacing. Out in a pretty good line. Senate Pete had no speed. He went back to the tail and one of the first outs sound the alarm. Super Suave from the outside flying up towards the front and pushing up Sonus Faber with Crystal Finale on the outside. Right from the outside here, Super Suave took it up from Crystal Finale. Sonus Faber had to ease. Surtees went around it. So too did Zorro. Mr. Goldfly got into trouble from Sound the Alarm. The inside Hurricane Fighter. Warabinda well back with Little Dozer followed by Fubu and Senate Pete last of all. 700 out. The leader Super Suave a length in front from Crystal Finale and on the outside a neck back third Surtees. A length and a half then Sonus Faber fourth. One then to Zorro ridden along. Sound the Alarm around it. A length and a half further back in the race Warabinda. Mr. Goldfly a long way off them with Senate Pete. Hurricane Fighter dropped out and second to last nearing the Turn. Little Dozer up before the turn. Super Suave nearly a length. Crystal Finale and Sir Tease a length and a half. Sonus Faber. Warabinda getting a move on and sound the alarm trying to get out from Mr. Goldflyer and Senate Pete from the back with a run. Crystal Finale hit the lead in the straight. Down the outside. Warabinda. Senate Pete from last is winding up now. Sound the alarm got to the front. Warabinda and Senate Pete on the outside. Sound the alarm in front of Warabinda. Sound the alarm gets home. A half neck on the line. Warabinda. Senate Pete third from Crystal Finale. Then Fubu out wide from Little does a Mr. Gold Flyer. Further back, Surtees, Sonus Faber. A long gap in the race. Super Suave, he showed great speed. He's back there with Zorro and Hurricane Fighter. Three, sound the alarm. Fifteen eighty five dollars ten from eight. Warabinda, two twenty and one. Senate Pete, two forty. Eagle Farm, race three, one. OK, we'll look at that shortly. At Queanbeyan, we have correct weight. Weight's right on the uh, second on the... Uh, pro Racing. Sunline broke the pack out in the middle. One of the first out with Maguire and second coming. Sir Boom, Blue Murder left the gate quickly. Consular over on the inside. Maguire, Sir Boom and Sunline on the outside of those two coming down to the first turn. From Consular, further back, second coming, followed by Blue Murder. Lee Zagaletta going forward, very wide behind Sunline. As the mighty mare skips around the outside, Sunline, and she runs to the lead at the 1,200 metre mark and moves three quarters to a length in front now from Consular and Sir Boom. Maguire fourth, but a little wide from Blue Murder, second coming, Lee Zagaletta three deep. One Citrus Prince and further back, full of rhythm. Then Millhib followed further back by our Unicorn, and the hind is last of all. She's in control, Sunline down the back. At the 9.50 metre mark by two to Sir Boom. Maguire three deep in Conchula the fence. Two for the back, Blue Murder. Tracking wide is Lazagaletta around the outside of second coming. Then Citrus Prince from Full of Rhythm, Muhib. For the back, our Unicorn and two or three behind, last of all. 49.6, the first 800 metres set up by Sunline. At the 600 metre mark, extending a little now for Childs. She moved away two and a half to Consular. Sir Boom, they're all up the bridal chasing. Lazagaletta around the outside. From Maguire, Citrus Prince, for the back, Blue Murder, our Unicorn. Corner and second coming in full flight is Sunline at the 400 metre mark by three lengths Consular. Then Lazagaletta, Citrus Prince in a gap in the race. Then our Unicorn and Blue Murder. But the mighty mare straightens up at the 200 metre mark and it's Sunline by four. Lazagaletta second from Citrus Prince, then Consular. But there's awesome racehorse Sunline streaking away. Probably should be in the Olympics up in Sydney. Look at her go down to the line. Sunline by three. Lazagaletta second, three away third in the race. Citrus Prince and running on late as the hind. Further back in the race then, second coming, followed by Blue Murder, Mahib, Consular, Sir Boom, further back our Unicorn, Maguire and full of rhythm back at the tail. No worries for Sunline or its supporters, number 13, 120 and 110 from four, La Zagaletta, 160 and nine, Citrus Prince, $4. Number 13, Sunline, extending away from the field at the 400 metre mark and there she is on the big screen here. Giving us a treat here today as she can as home to take the fee in. In very easy fashion from number four, the Zagaletta. And third in is number nine, Citrus Prince. Number five, the Hind running on very well to stay at a run into fourth placing from number one, second coming. Sunline first and a comfortable win. Well, what do you say about her? <laughs> she, I don't know how they get a beater in the Cox Plate. Five million dollar prize money ticks over. Correct way, Queen Bean. Easy work, and he really put her on show here today, Greg Charles. He led her down at the 400 metre mark, and she put four lengths on them. And they were off the bridle, 600 from home, and this was just uh, a picnic in the park for this great mare. Six weeks off to the BMW Cox Plate at her mercy, surely. The Zagaletta, different brigade, Citrus Prince, a game performance.
And the eye catcher from Estella's point of view certainly was the hind, 13, 4, 9 and 5. Number 13, number 13, and that is Sunline, written by Greg Childs. It's now 27 starts for 20 wins and 4 seconds. And uh, home in 47, 8, 36, 1, 24, 6, 12, 6, 1, 37, 9 is the time. First 800 reeling off in 49.6. And six weeks away, we have the BMW Cox Plate. And today, with the prize money, first prize money of 136500 she now goes to $5.1 million in prize money. And, of course, there's more to come in the Cox Plate in six weeks from now. Uh, she pays 120 and 110 160 Liz Racing, out in a good line too. One of the first out, Gilded Star with Brave Chief. Prince of Walk hopped out quickly. Jangling Jack just behind those settling down and his Della Vista moving forward from the outside. Brave Chief took it up now from Prince of Walk, Della Vista, Jangling Jack. Further back, Gilded Star from Sar Watch, Oxford Dollar. Dacos and Panoramic Lad, two to As You Do. Further back in the race then came Il Don, followed by Ultra Smug and Majestic Avenue, a thousand to go. Down the back, Brave Chief in front, but Principi Walks making him work on the outside. Brave Chief now got the lead back and led by a length and a half to Principi Walk, who eases. Two further back, Della Vista, three quarters, Jangling Jack, fourth, one further back, Gilded Star. Two to Sar Watch on the outside of Oxford Dollar, a length and a half to Dacos. Widest panoramic lad from Il Don, then As You Do is a mile off them at the moment, with Ultra Smug and last of all, Majestic Majestic Avenue. Brave Chief's out on his own at the 6.50 metre mark. He's out by two. Second, Prince of B. Walk from Della Vista. Third, a length for the back, Jangling Jack. Ridden along now, making some ground as Gilded Star. Two or three, Sarwatch, Dacos. Oxford Dollar off the fence, starting to improve. A gap to As You Do, Panoramic Lad. Then Il Donna, well back, Majestic Avenue. Brave Chief at the 3.50 metre mark. A neck in front of Della Vista. Prince of B. Walk under pressure in the middle and further out, Gilded Star. Oxford Dollar is winding up in the grey, As You Do, looking for a way out, followed by Jangling Jack. Around the turn, Della Vista got up to Brave Chief. A length further back, Gilded Star from As You Do. And Oxford Dollar down the outside. Della Vista took the lead from Brave Chief. Chief fighting on the Oxford Dollar and further back as you do. Della Vista in front, Brave Chief rallying back. Della Vista, I'd say, may have wanted a nose on the line to Brave Chief. Nothing in at Oxford Dollar third. Further back in the race and as you do, followed by Gilded Star, Majestic Avenue. Then Dacos, Ultra Smug, Sar Watch, Il Don, Prince of B. Walk, further back, Panoramic Lad. And near the tail is Jangling Jack. It's a photo. Another photo. OK, it's a photo there. Let's return to Tony at Queanbeyan, see what's happening, see if we have all clear. Please note, bookmakers. I've got to put deductions over. OK. Let's go back to Brian. Number 10, the winner there. Number 10, Dalla Vista. Alder at 28 to 1 has come back to a score here at a photo from Brave Chief. And 13, Oxford Dollar, 10, 1, 3 to race 6, 10, 1 and 3. Well, that's a win. That's a fair win, that. He, uh, he was up on the outside of Brave Chief when they started to pack at the 400 metre mark. Brave Chief came back and nearly got on. Correct weight, Queanbeyan, correct weight, Queanbeyan. But he's kicked back to win us a half head on the post from Brave Chief and Oxford Dollar winding up like a good type of stayer, getting into third. Not much luck fourth was the grey as you do. He got back to the last three. You couldn't miss him, almost white in colour, but he, he was held up for a run turning for home and going between horses, he's finished off well. It's 10-1-3, 13-14 and sixth in is number five. Just sufficient to get home here, Della Vista over Brave Chief. Oh, the Chief, he really started to kick back. But he's just missed. And it's a half head. It's a half head by a length and a quarter. 10-1-3, a half head by a length and a quarter. Della Vista, he's always around the money. Uh, likes the, the firmer ground now. Doesn't really get beyond about the 15. As far as he wants. Uh, ridden by Vlad Jurek, a good kick for uh, Vlad. And uh, trained by Graham Larson out of Cranbourne, ran third at sale with 57 and a half the other day, over 1,400. And uh, he, he improved when he got over that drier ground, probably today's helped him too. Graham Larson is well known, of course, to Dean Lester, Dean. Yes, indeed. OK, just leave Brian there. They're getting set at Elwick here. Number one, Mondi, 250, 230 is the favourite. Five, Broadway Illusion.
racing. Uh, Sir Merler a little bit slow off the mark on the inside, bouncing quickly as Paint and Gold Valley going with it in the early point with Rancho Spark and Bomber Bill. Over on the inside, Sir Merler starting to push forward, Astic just off midfield. Two further back in the race now came to see the Shineries back. Paint is caught very wide as they race down the back at the about the 550 metre mark. Gold Valley three out, Rancho Spark up there contesting the lead over on the inside is Sir Merler. Two further back than Astig inside. Bomber Bill and Paint to the outside. Astig trying to get clear. Two and a half the Shiner to see. And last of all, Ben Azi. Sir Muller on the inside of Rancho Spark from Gold Valley before the turn. Astig had nowhere to go. And wider out is Paint and Bomber Bill. They're coming wide up to the turn, followed by the Shiner. On the turn, Sir Muller, Rancho Spark. Bomber Bill and Paint out wide from Astig. Ben Azi right behind those. Bomber Bill in the middle. Hit the front now from Paint and Ben Azi getting out late. Bomber Bill broke clear. After it, Ben Azi back on the inside. Bomber Bill in front. Benazi trying to get to it. Bomber Bill. Bomber Bill, a half neck on the line to Benazi. Three away, third out wide. The Shiner, a Rancho Spark. Uh, behind them, paint from Astig, a gap to see. Ben Sir Muller, well back, Gold Valley near the tail. Four, Bomber Bill, eight, ten, two, ten from twelve. Benazi, six dollars for third, nine. The Shiner, four, ten with three Rancho Spark, one eighty. Now at Queenbian, three lengths by a nose there. And let's just rejoin Tony. Three lengths, the winning margin, a no second and third. The time for the race, 110.79, 110.79, and the sectional 35.20, 35.20. But a good win to Rebel Duel in the last. Uh, trained at Bombala by Tim Stewart, and uh, Rebel Duel is by Opera Prince out of Rebel Line, and well ridden by Kevin Sweeney. 10.28, official, and I'll send weight down the line following the last race. Okay, thanks, Tony. Now, 4.12.9 at Mooney Valley, and at the Gold Coast, 4.5 and 3. Let's go back to Brian. Coming from last, what a good effort it was. Hasn't missed by much, and the Shiner also making up ground out wide. They turned in, and it was on the inside, Sir Miller from Rancho Spark. The sweepers were Bomber Bill and paint outside him. Astig had to switch course nearing the term. He didn't finish off as well as he should. And the one who was waiting for a run, he just had to weave his way through, was Ben Aziz. Uh, Dean uh, Saxton's horse uh, from Mount Gambier has now got the horse. It's had a few stables. I'll tell you what, he's going to turn this around, though, I'd say. Dean Saxon. And uh, the shiner out wide, the old fella, has got up to grab third from Rancho Spark. 4, 12, 9 and 59, 6. 59, 6. And Bomber Bill, late in the market, tightening up. Uh, equal third pick of the betting outside uh, uh, Paint and Astic. And then we had the uh, equal third picks, Rancho Spark and Bomber Bill, and he certainly did meet support. Thank you, Brian. Back in a moment. Elwick, number one, Machion. Updates 480, 182, Red Piper, 8. Great line in the cup, silent impact and Matiti Road with Skadam out wide came away quickly. Count Scenario began well and so did Space Age, Steel, Phoenix and She's Neat. Dashing scene behind the pace from Galliano, Pecan Player and Edward Bray. Silent impact drifts back into midfield in front of Prophet's Kiss and then Genioso Dance Director. Gira Star is second last and Star covered last as they go past the judge the first time. Skadam's out wide but looking for the lead on the turn out of the straight at the 1900 metres mark. Skadam Arm one deep, led by a length of a count scenario about to claim the rail. Space Age is third, and dashing scene fourth, one deep. Galliano's deep and going forward on the outside, a length away, Matiti Road three wide. Genioso is drifting back along the fence and Steel Phoenix on the rail. Pecan player in the middle, followed after a length and a half by She's Neat, then silent impact and Edward Bray. One to dance director on the outside of Prophet's Kiss, another length and a half to Star Covered. Genioso now second last and Jira Star a length away at the tail of the field they're working down the back Skadam the leader first 800 meters in 50.6 a lot slower than last year and it's Skadam on top with Galliano now going to second at the 1200 meters mark Count Scenarios a length away third and there's silent impact he's out deep and he's rushing up to tackle the leaders and at the 1000 meters mark there's a line of three Skadam on the fence Galliano the center and silent impact out three deep two 
lengths away Camp Scenario, Wonder Space Age. A length Matiti Road and then dashing scene Pecan Player, Steel Phoenix on the rail. A length to She's Neat Star Covered and Gira Star trying to make ground. Edward Bray on the fence, then Prophet's Kiss Dance Director and Ginny Osoa dropped out to the tail of the field. The Diggers taken silent impact to the front. 650 to go, silent impact. Three quarters to Galliano. Camp Scenario's third and three deep coming to the turn. But TD Road's gone to fourth out four wide. Pecan player following them, then Skadam, Steel Felix, followed by Space Age about to work into the clear. And she's neat on the outside. Silent impact in front. They're in heartbreak lane for connections in the cup. Silent impact's kicked out by three lengths over Matiti Road. Steel Phoenix and she's neat on the outside. Silent impact the leader. 150 to go. The digger wielding the whip. She's neat and Prophet's Kiss are flying. Silent impact in front. Prophet's Kiss flew too late. Silent impact, I think. Silent impact on the fence from Prophet's Kiss out under the roses. Between them running third, she's neat. Then Steel Phoenix, Skadam, Genioso, Edward Bray, Count Scenario, Gira Star, Matiti Road. And uh, further back in the race pulling up was Galliano, Pecan player, Space Age didn't fire where it counted in front of dance director Star Covet and dashing scene came in at the tail. And they said it, Wangaratta. Ready? Okay, let's not worry about Wangaratta. Now, it's a photo at Newcastle. We'll keep that monitored at. Toowoomba, Pat O'Shea is your caller. And the selections in the first are for seven, eight and four. They are... Sound coming up to complete the lineup now for the last. And they're all in, set to go. And racing. Walk on ice out fairly in the middle of the line. Ever blew a little slow to move. Magic Pressure got away well and Happy Emperor's out there too but doesn't want the lead at the moment. Down to the pace the first time and it's Walk on Ice cutting them off and leading. Putting on a good bit of pace too. Magic Pressure up to second. Desert Rain third inside and then Figurehead. They're followed by Happy Emperor settling down fifth on the outside. Trailed by Ever Blue. A length and a half to backstop on the inside of Sav Rocker. Around them goes Sound and the last couple of the Warrior, who's racing over on the outside of New Kingston. Walk on Ice led below the 1500. Up the side, three quarters, Magic Pressure. Desert Rain tucked in third on the fence. Figurehead is fourth on the outside. Happy Empress trapped out and going forward. Next is Ever Blue, and they're followed by Sav Rocker. Backstop on the inside, trailed by Sound. A length and a half to the Warrior, and New Kingston last of orders into the back straight. Mertens had moved Happy Warrior up to second. It's Walk on Ice three quarters clear. Happy Warrior second, third is Magic Pressure. Then Desert Rain fourth on the inside, a length to Figurehead ahead a length and a half to Ever Blue. Another grey Sav Rocker is around it and Sound goes forward out three wide as they make their way down the back. Next is Backstop followed by the Warrior and New Kingston a length and a half away. Twelve lengths cover them at the 800 turn now. Walk on ice by a length Happy Emperor. Desert Rain hasn't spent a cent third on the inside followed by Figurehead hooked out for his run. Then Magic Pressure. Sound coming into it wide out from Sav Rocker. They were trailed by Ever Blue. Backstop and the Warriors out very wide and last is New Kingston by the school. Where the leader is Walk on Ice being tackled now by Happy Emperor and Figurehead wider out. Then Sav Rocker starting to run on fairly well. Magic Pressure down on the inside and then Sound followed by Backstop Desert Rain.